Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back to another video on UiPath storage buckets. In this video, I am going to show you how to upload files to UiPath storage buckets directly from UiPath Studio. So let's get started. So we are here on storage buckets. I have selected this folder HR and this is the HR buckets, HR documents. Now I want to upload files to this HR documents storage bucket. So let me open UiPath Studio. So from here in the activity, you can search for storage and you can see here we have few activity from Azure from Citrix that is not required. We'll be using these six activities to upload files from UiPath Studio to a storage buckets. We will use upload a storage file activity. Upload a storage file activity in UiPath Studio is used to upload files from your local system to a storage bucket in UiPath Orchestrator. Let's talk about the real life use case of this upload a storage file activity. Imagine you have one board where you are downloading a reports, daily report from any website and then that report you need to up, you know, upload to a specific storage bucket so that other board can download it and then read those transaction details and then start processing. So first right side you can see orchestrator folder path. If you click on this, you can see here multiple folders we have. Currently learning is selected. So I'm using this here. If you want to leave this as it is, you can leave. But if you want to upload this file, any file to any other bucket, then you need to enter that name, that orchestra folder path. So I want to upload to HR folder, to this folder. If you will not pass that, the by default it will try to up, you know find out that storage bucket in this learning folder. So we are passing that HR folder path. Now we need to enter storage bucket name where the file will be uploaded. So it will be HR documents. So the bucket is this one HR documents. Now we need to pass that file which we need to upload. So I want to upload this pay slip. So let's right click and copy as a path. Now you can see here this file. It shows that in argument I resource. What we can do? We can write here local resource dot from path open close bracket and then you can see local path as a string. So you need to pass that complete file path. Okay. So I have pasted here. Now we have destination which will define the file name and the folder structure with the bucket. For example, if I need to upload this file inside a folder that is 2024 and then month wise then month and then how the file should look like in the storage bucket. So the file name you can upload you can put here. So let's say this is pay slip. Now if I just say here payslip dot PDF, then this file will be uploaded to the storage bucket and the name will display this one. Let me first run this and then I will show you the other one. So let's open UiPath Orchestrator. Go to the storage bucket. Now refresh this. So you can see it has payslip.pdf. Now I want to upload to this specific folder, let's say 2024 and then month. So for that I need to enter the destination here. So destination will be 2024 slash and then this will be September SCPT slash and payslip. Now let's run this again. Now let me show you here in the UiPath Orchestrator and refresh this. You can see here the file has been uploaded with this. So folder structure is this one 224 slash September SCPTS slash payslip.pdf. 
So this has been uploaded here. So you can decide this name. Let me de delete this one. You can decide the folder structure and you can upload here. So it can be anything. Even you can change this name as well. You can say this is 1001 like employee ID and then payslip. You can do it like this way as well. Right. So you notice here the file name is payslip.pdf but here we, we are just changing that to 1001 that employee ID underscore payslip.pdf. Let's refresh this and now you can see it has uploaded here. So this way you can upload files from UiPath Studio to UiPath storage buckets. I hope this video is useful. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.